Um, hey everybody, so my name is Steve and I'm desperate for virtual reality. Desperate. Desperate face. Um, so um, I don't have $500 for an Oculus Rift because I'm poor and, <laughs> and I don't quite have the PC that I would like um, to make um, or to play the you know the higher end uh, Oculus Rift games and of course Project Morpheus is a ways out so um, I set out on a journey to try and seek out some um, alternatives to uh, the Oculus Rift and I ended up finding out that mobile VR is actually a thing um, namely through um, the dive tracking software and uh, Road to VR a great website focusing on virtual reality um, I discovered um, that you can make a mobile VR headset um, for, you know, like 20 bucks or so. Um, so what I have here is the device where you would be um, interfacing, you know. Um, this is a small little thing that I built in Unity using the free dive software. Um, just a simple 3D world that's running on my phone. Um, that includes head tracking via the phone with the um, the gyro and uh, it splits the images, you know, the left and right eye as you can see here um, you know, very similar to uh, the way a 3D movie would do it or uh, I think even in the Oculus Rift. So with that said, um, and of course the big dive logo because those guys are so great um, you would control it here with your controller of choice. Uh, my phone is rooted I use either a DualShock or the navigation controller and the device itself that the phone goes into is here. Um, let's see. So the way that you see the left and right eye image is through these glasses here. I took a pair of reading glasses that cost me a dollar and I took some magnifying lenses from a pair of binoculars and I just kind of shoved it all in there and made it work. <laughs> And it can be adjusted here, but this is a pretty comfortable level for most people. Um, or at least out of the six people that I've shown this to. And so the glasses would go on, and then this, your phone would go in here through these Velcro straps, and it would sit right there at face level. And then, of course, you would strap this if, as you, you know, would find most comfortable. Um, this is made out of foam board. You've, of course, got the Velcro, and um, you've got a standard elastic band here, and I added this um, little headpiece here for comfort. Um, all of this stuff, you can get it at Walmart or a crafting store. Um, it'll seriously cost you, like, between 10 and 20 bucks tops. Um, really, the big thing is having your phone... Um, which is a perfect display device for virtual reality, you know, in terms of pixel density and colors and everything. And of course, if you have headphones, it adds even more to the immersion. Um, initially, I had created quite a few of these. This was the last one that I made out of cardboard. Um, not that it wasn't cool and everything, but very uncomfortable because cardboard hurts your face. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a um, homemade virtual reality headset. Uh, made mostly out of foam board that's super glued together, holds up very well. I've let five or six people try this out. I actually have videos here on the channel um, that you can check out. You can see some of the reactions, and uh, it works very, very, very well. It's a really cool way to get a first taste of um, virtual reality. And of course, if you were at all interested in being a developer, um, the Dive SDK is free. It's great. They just ask that you give them some, uh, give them a shout out and everything. So uh, this whole VR setup is just wonderful it works really well and uh, yeah I hope to start making some virtual reality projects myself until then you can check out um, quite a few really cool ones uh, dive has a has an app on the Android store called dive world I believe it's on iPhone as well um, and you've got a few cool games like slender or halls of fear both of which well one of which is free one of which is like two dollars and um, there are other applications um, like uh, Cinema Go, I think is what it's called, or GoPro, Go Show, uh, where you can watch movies in a VR theater. Um, and of course, you have some augmented reality applications that feed through your phone's display. So it's really quite nice. Um, 
if you really are desperate for VR, it's, it's here. You can build your own device, and it's just really neat. So um, I hope to start making some waves in this space. And uh, until then, this is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, desperate for VR.